I'd like to start off saying, how did you stumble upon uh, artificial intelligence? You know, was there a particular episode that make you getting into it? No, not really. I've always um, been interested in automating things. So my undergraduate uh, degree was in computer science. So I worked at some big companies, um, you know, developing software. And then eventually in, in 2010, I just started, decided to start my own company, Automated Insights, um, trying to automate the creation of text. And that was kind of how that got started. Again, really before the machine learning wave took off. And then now for this new company, you know, we fully embrace machine learning and we have a pretty uh, amazing team of machine learning experts that are, are doing some really great things. How did the idea come up and how good did the technology get over the time? So it, it dates back to my love of uh, UNC basketball. And in fact, I started the first blog dedicated to UNC basketball back in like the 2002 timeframe. And so I started writing a bunch of recaps after every basketball game. And I come to realize that those were pretty formulaic. And eventually, because I like to automate things, I thought, well, if I had access to the data, um, it seems like I could automate uh, the recap generation process. And so that was kind of where, where the early idea behind automated insights came from was this notion that I could automate sports recaps. What technology do you expect in the future to come up that might, if you like, put yourself out of job? I'm, I'm just jogging, but what do you think yeah. has to happen? Oh, it's totally a fair question. And there, there's something already there that at least people talk about. It's called auto ML or auto machine learning, where you essentially can create a process to automatically discover the right algorithm to use for a given problem. And what I would say is that, you know, I would welcome that. Now, at least from my perspective, I think we are many, many years away from that actually being able to replace the type of data scientists we have. I think that that technology is very immature. The problems are way more difficult than what those techniques can solve. But I would say that, is it out of the question that data scientists can be automated in 10 to 15 years? I don't think so. I mean, I, I think you'll still need, you know, just like you need software developers today. Since I've been a software developer, there's always been people that think that we're going to be, be able to automate the software development process. And that's just never happened and really not even come all that close. It, it'll be the same thing with data scientists. That, that's the new thing for people to say that we're going to automate. And not to say that we won't automate around the edges of it, but I just don't think anytime soon that you're going to be able to really automate a good data scientist.